which says to use the pointer offset, PO meaning pointer offset, and BA meaning base address. So we're going to use 14 as the prefix, and 380 the offset, because the pointer search is telling us to use 380 as the offset. So I've already created this code. I'm going to copy it, and we are going to paste it, like so. Now, there's one more code that you have to do. Usually when you're doing pointers and, uh, uh, pointers and offsets, you have to reset it. And if you read the documentation, it says to use the following code, E0, and then pad the rest of it with zeros, as well as 8000-8000. And this is going to reset whatever pointers when the code is done executing. So I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to leave this world, and we're going to verify that we can f that this is the actual pointer we're looking at, and then make sure that this code is going to work. All right, we're going to we've uh, entered a new world, and we know that this following address, when we go to the memory viewer, is going to lead us to where the pointer address is. So this is going to be the pointer address. And that's going to point to another RAM address. And we're going to take that RAM address and add 380 in hex to it. So where's my calculator? I'm going to clear all this. Control V to paste. And we're going to add 380 in hex. And it's going to lead us to a new address. Control C. And we're going to go back to Beard. And we're going to put this in the memory viewer. And notice, it's looks like it's the right value, so we'll go to the pointer search, sorry, the, uh, the poke window, control V to paste, and we'll make this 2, and we'll poke it. And hey, look, it worked. Which means we did find the valid pointer. So we can go to the, the GCT codes, which if you really don't want to get into all of this, you know, cheap code hacking and all this jazz, you can go to the USB Gecko forums, they have a whole community, uh, a lot of really cool people that know a lot more about this than I do so uh, really don't try to bombard me with a lot of questions about this I'm still doing a lot of learning go to the USB gecko forums because there's a lot a much bigger community of uh, Wii console hackers than there are on the BSOD forums so we've got the code in place so 48 prefix tells us that we're going to be using a pointer and we're setting the pointer as 806 B7 B40 the 14 prefix code says to uh, add the offset of whatever value. In this case, 380. It's telling us to use 380. So we set that to 380 and we want to set the maximum value to 3. And 3 is too normal. Let's make that 6. And then we have to use the E0 code to actually reset the base, sorry, the pointer offset so it doesn't crash the console. So let's go ahead and enable this code and hope to God. Once we hit apply, it doesn't crash. Hey, look, and it doesn't. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just, you know what? Without any editing magic, I'm going to go to the observatory again. I'm going to go to a completely new world. And I am just going to get hurt and see how badly I can get my ass whipped. Because I know a lot of people claim that a lot of videos on the internet are fake these days. And, and I really hope through BSOD you've gained a little bit more faith through the actual legitimate hacking communities and a lot of the hard work that they're doing. And I'd like to thank everyone on the USB Gecko forums, as well as the USB Gecko team for creating these wonderful tools and utilities that none of this would be possible without. So, I'm going to run around, see what I can do to get hurt. And I'm not getting hurt. This code has told the, uh, we've got, the, we found the pointer address, which leads, and the offset, and we've locked it to a maximum value of 6. So essentially, now we have unlimited health. Now you can also affect uh, characters, animations, how many coins you have, star bits, but there is a lot to actual uh, Wii RAM hacking. Um, this is just going to be the basics. I hope I really inspired you guys to be a little bit more insightful with uh, what you guys want to do with your Wii. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll put a lot of information about the discrepancies of what ranges of RAM you can and cannot access in the show notes, and I'll try to put as much in the show notes as I, as I can. I'm really hoping that I'm not running out of time on this. This segment has been kicking my ass, so for now, I'm just going to say, you know what? Have fun, and good luck.